Hey everybody, my name is Nathaniel Dodds and I run the Covenanter Monthly Pamphlet Program over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. You can head over there and subscribe for just $10 a month. You'll get your very own brand new pamphlet delivered to your mailbox each and every month. Uh, you can also pick up any of the many back issues of pamphlets that we have uh, printed uh, for just $12 each over there. Uh, now for this month, January of 2018, I have an informatory vindication to give you an idea of what's within this pamphlet. Let me read here a short excerpt from the back of the booklet. In 1687, the struggle for the cause of covenanting had entered a critical phase. Since the restoration of Charles II in 1660, those who had firmly held to the cause of covenanted reformation had come under increasing pressure to conform and submit to the demands of the king which sought to harmonize Scottish polity with that found in England. This result was the gradual attrition of those remaining faithful to the covenants together with the increased often violent persecution of covenant keepers. As the cause of the Covenanters seemed to dim in 1687, the faithful remnant decided to issue an informatory vindication designed to correct the record and repel the lies and misinformation which had been leveled against the Covenanters. The informatory vindication sets forth the principles and practice for which the Covenanters were prepared to lay down their lives. After presenting a brief historical account of the recent sufferings, the authors, that is James Rennick and Alexander Shields, writing on behalf of the United Societies, they seek to clear the Covenanters from the charges of fanaticism by placing their beliefs and conduct within the context of previously accepted Reformed churches, especially that of the Church of Scotland. Beginning with the general statement of their new controverted principles and practices, the United Societies wish to give a defense and explanation of their position. This defense is conducted with respect to several heads. First, they wish to explain and defend their use of general meetings against charges that they were acting in manner contrary to Presbyterianism. Second, they wish to make clear that what should be understood by their various declarations, which for the convenience of the reader are included after the informatory vindication. Third, they are concerned to explain the purpose of their call for ministers and the alleged restrictions set therein. Fourth, they are careful to defend their separation as both lawful and necessary given the corruption overtaking the Church of Scotland. This section contains an important discussion of the charges of schism and its genuine import. Fifth, they defend themselves in their appeal to foreign reformed churches, particularly seeking to have some students educated and ordained overseas to return and serve the United Societies. Sixth, they explain their conduct in raising certain matters concerning the Scots congregation in Rotterdam. And seventh, they address the charge of making canons and enacting discipline against scandalous persons. So there you have it. A little bit there off of the back of the pamphlet to give you an idea of what can be found here within an informatory vindication. You can check it out. You can check out many different pamphlets. Again, over at covenanter.org slash pamphlets. Thank you very much.